our project for GDSS that we have been doing is the rejects Android application app. First, I'm gonna be introducing what is the goal of a project. The goal of a project is to build an Android application which incorporates the latest technology such as parsing and Lexis analysis. This resolves the strings that belong to a particular grammar or regular expressions. So now, our objective for creating such a program is to make sure it is user-friendly, efficient, and very much reliable. The problem statement that we would like to solve over here is that we would like to implement an Android application to resolve regular expressions and grammar, grammar, regular expressions and grammars for a particular string, like I've already mentioned before. Now next, I'm gonna be talking about the benefits of our project. The benefits of our project are, just because of the reason we are using the concepts of parsing and lexical analysis, the regular expression and the other topics covered in finite automata and the formal languages and compiler designs in software system is very important for us to understand higher level concepts in computer science. This application also gives us an understanding as well as providers, provides users for a way to solve all topics mentioned. Thank you. The project basis is taken from uh, the experiment study with uh, real world data for Android app security, analysis uh, using machine learning during the year 2015, and the Android uh, digital uh, forensics, simplifying the Android forensics using regular expressions by Jay Jaya Mohan and Neera during the year 2017. The technologies used here ha are Android application, lexical analysis, and parsing technology. Uh, let me explain all these three technologies. Uh, the Android application is a software designed to run on an Android device or emulator. It also refers to APK file which stands for Android package. This file is a par chip containing app code, resources, and uh, meta information. Uh, these uh, apps can be written in uh, uh, Java, C++ uh, languages and uh, are run inside the virtual machine. Next technology used is the lexical analysis. It is the first phase of a compiler. Uh, it takes modified source code from the la uh, language uh, preprocessors that are written in the form of sentences. The next te technology used is parsing technology. Uh, the parsing technology is the central area of research in the automatic processing of human language. It is concerned with decomposition of the uh, complex structures into their constituent parts in particular with methods, the tools and the software to parse uh, automatically. Next is the software uh, used. Uh, Python programming uh, ID. ID stands for uh, Integrated Development en Environment. It's a coding tool which allows us to uh, write, test and de debug our code in an easier way. And uh, it offers code insight compilation by highlighting the resource management, debugging tools and etc. Here Python uh, programming IDs uh, used are uh, such as uh, Py Spider, PyCharm and etc. Uh, Spider IDE is the scientific Python development environment, which is a free IDE that is included with Anaconda. It includes editing, interactive testing, uh, debugging, and introspection features. The next is the PyCharm. Uh, PyCharm is a hybrid platform developed by the JetBrains as an IDE for Python. Uh, it's uh, commonly used for uh, Python application development. The tools used are uh, Android Developer Framework, Lexical Analysis, and Parsing. The Android Developer Framework is the set of APIs that allow developers to quickly and easily write apps for Android phones. It consists of tools for designing uh, uh, UIs uh, like buttons, text fields, image panes, and system tools like Intents, uh, which is used for uh, starting other app, app activities uh, or files, uh, phone controls, media players, and etc. Next is the lexical analysis. So we uh, saw what lexical analysis uh, 
is used in technologies here the lexical analyze analyzer breaks this syntaxes into a series of tokens by removing any white space or uh, comments in the source code next tool used is the parsing uh, parsing is uh, also known as the syntax analysis uh, the parsing is the process of analyzing a text which contains a sequence of tokens to determine its grammatical structure with respect to a given grammar. Uh, the, text, the testing tools used here are Android device with uh, Android 8.0 or above. Uh, the Android 8.0 is uh, API of uh, uh, level 21. The developer tools used here are uh, 8GB or above random access memory. Uh, the processors are uh, uh, Intel i5 or above processor or AMD Ryzen 5 or above processors. The graphical processing unit, the GPU used here are Intel Integrated Graphics or the uh, NVIDIA uh, equivalent processor. Expected risks in a project. So there might be some performance issues uh, of the Android device due to improper Android architecture management that is like the app may hang if there are any uh, more apps loaded onto the RAM which the Android device can't handle and there might be some bugs where, which doesn't uh, allow, our, uh, allow our app to perform smoothly because of the Android architecture management. Next slide. So here in the we have delivered a fully functional Android app that allows users to do the regular expressions operation. And we have completed the three important milestones for project that is implementation of front end, implementation of back end, and we have successfully tested our Android app and design. So here we have uh, the Android app consists of a layout using an XML file. So it contains various elements offered by the Android library. And uh, we have used three important widgets that is text views, edit text, and buttons. Thank you. Hello, everyone. I'm going to be explaining about the front end of our project and back end. The front end is done by XML and uh, the changes we added from last time is we have given IDs to each of the edit text so that the text filled by the user can be retrieved by the back end easily. For example, the edit text where the user enters the regular expression has an ID of regex. Next, we added a picture for the user so it's easier for them to enter the regular expression. The picture looks like this and it has hints for regular expression and how to find regular expressions. Next, we added a new text view with the ID of output. It has a white background and the text color will be black so it's clearly visible here will be the output whether the string matches a regular expression and from which position to which position the text will be filled later by the backend just for now it's a simple small white rectangle as you can see here next the backend the backend is a java class called main activity we've included these two packages java.util.regex.matcher and java.util.regex.pattern which is used for matching regular expressions. So this main activity extreme compact activity is called and we have several variables where we store several Android widgets. Next this override means overrided methods are called if there are other methods with the same name then this function on create is is called and run during the time you install this android application for the very first time next and on create we save the instance of the application we set the content view which is the screen r is root layout is the layout file and activity main which I just explained before. Now we find various Android widgets by their ID and set them in the variables we declared before. Find view by ID is a method which finds Android widgets and other structures using their ID. R is for root dot ID dot rejects submit test and output other things we declared in the XML file. Next, 
for the final output like last time we set an on click listener whereas this on click function will execute whenever the button is clicked if either the first edit text or the second edit text or both the edit text is empty which is get text means we get the text that the user is entered into the edit text we convert it into string we check if it's empty we make a toast message a toast message is an android widget which appears at the bottom of the screen for a few seconds with a personalized message and disappears in this toast message the message is please enter a string and or re and dot show places it on the screen else else means if both the edit texts are filled we initially set the text of the output box which i just explained to null or an empty string this is so the when the user uses the application multiple times the previous input is, will be still present and the new input shouldn't be concatenated with the old output then we called a string called intermediate which we set to an empty string now pattern is a uh, object of the class java.util.regex.pattern and we compile and enter the regular expression which we get from the user get text and convert it to string compile method compiles the regular expression and stores it as a readable pattern next we store it in a variable called pattern next is matcher pattern dot matcher matcher scans the input string which we get from the user for the parts of the string that matches the regular expression and stores various attributes such as the substring the positions and other attributes we initialize a boolean called found to false now while matcher.find if it finds any matches matcher.find is not null or not empty intermediate we set the string found dot text matcher dot group is the substring where the substring matches the regular expression at position matcher dot start gives the index of the substring in the main string where it starts and to matcher dot end matcher dot end gives the position where the substring ends within the main string and we set found to true if found is still false which means there are no matches in the input string according to the input regular expression we set intermediate to no matches found then we set the text of that output box to intermediate string which will either have found the text or no matches found thank you now let us have a working demo of our project and see how this app works. The page shows us the name of our app that is the Rana Regex app and here we have two text boxes which says please enter the regular expression and the other text box that says enter the string. Before we uh, further proceed into the test cases of our project we have to execute all the five test cases to see how this app works the first test case is that we don't have to insert any input and see what toast message this gives okay i don't enter any of the expression or the string into these text boxes and then i just click on the enter button it says please enter a string and or the regular expression next test case is that enter regular expression I enter you and then I press on the enter button it says please enter a string and or the regular expression so it indirectly says us to enter the string in the text box as a third uh, test case, we'll just enter the string without the regular expression and see what output we get or the what toast message we get. And I put hello. Next, I click on enter button. 
so it says please enter a string and or the regular expression similarly like the ca case 2 we had to enter both the regular expression as well as the string for this app now as a uh, test case 4 i enter hi and then i enter some string then i click on enter so it says found the text high at position 6 to 8 so basically we have the text here high from the position 6 to 8 that is 7th and 8th contains the word high now for the same regular expression high i press some uh, some alphabets and numbers as a string which doesn't contain the regular expression high and then I enter it says no matches found so this is how our app works as you have already seen the working demo of a project it would have given you an idea of how the project works now let us see the test cases that we have performed in the demo the first case is no input second case is that enter the regular expression without the string third is that enter the string without the regular expression and the fourth case is that we enter the string that matches the text and in the fifth case we enter the string that does not match the text so here is the test case one wherein no input is given and it gives the toast message saying please enter a string and or the regular expression so as part of our second case we enter only the regular expression as u and then we don't enter any string here so the toast message again says that please enter a string and or the regular expression our third case we entered only the string as hello but we didn't enter any of the regular expression so on uh, on execution we got the toast message as please enter a string and or the regular expression our test case 4 was that we entered the string that matches the text the text was high and the string was few combination of numbers and alphabets which had high in them and then the toast message says that found the text high at position 6 to 8 so we have found the text here next case was the string that does not match the text so in this case we have entered the regular expression again as high and few strings that has numbers al alphabets combination but the toast message says we didn't find the match no matches found which means that the high word or the uh, text was not found in the string that we entered. So these are the five test cases we fulfilled and successfully implemented these. The conclusions of this project is, a project with both learning and creativity is important in these days. And the use of the XML and Java files were so interesting that we learned with great focus and knowledge was obtained in lexical analysis and compiler design during this process. So the major challenge was that can we meet all the objective that we listed? But yes, we implemented all those objectives and then we, make, we made sure that we are able to meet the objectives and completed the project successfully on time. Thank you.